The music in this game makes me feel very weird because when I remember, you know, the previous streams, I think to myself, oh, this is the one where a meteor hit the earth and presumably killed everyone, and we're playing as a bunch of kids who just escaped a killing game and are about to cross country to Tokyo. Hmm, reasonable, right? Look, you hear the jolly music. A bunch of kids who almost died are marching to this beat, right? We're about to go to Oita. Sorry I didn't stream yesterday, I did explain it though. Because I was just really tired, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> the one thing you can't fault me for is honesty. I am bloody honest about stuff. I was exhausted and just wanted to sleep. <laughs> I didn't feel great, I was overly stressed, so when I got home I was just like, okay, I just want the day to myself. Sorry I'm streaming at an awkward time too. Um, there's real life reasons for it, it so sure that's that. It took a long time to get here. Did it? How long? I'm actually kind of curious on how long it would take them, because last time we established that it take between... Well, it take a minimum nine days. For them to make the journey to Tokyo on foot. Which is a lot of time for a kid. Especially when, you know, you need to take into consideration the breaks as well and that there's monsters around apparently. I'm wondering if they've seen any more since they're claiming that it took a while for them to get here. Yeah, it took way longer than we planned. Could you give a time frame? <laughs> it's all your fault, Mochan. To the Americans, I hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving tomorrow. Ah uh, yeah, it's specifically that day, but you most of you have the entire week off. Enjoy your extra break, we don't get that here. <laughs> we don't have a festival like that where we get extra time off. We have bonfire night, but that we don't get time off for. We just get a firework festival and that's it, we still have to do our normal stuff. Whether that's school, university studies, or work. Unless you organise the time off, which why would you? Because it's, you know, celebrating the Gundam Gunpowder plot, which is, well, Gundam Powder plot being stopped. Star just gives thanks to something else. <laughs> Any little smell along the way, and you got sidetracked. <laughs> little piggy! Like, this guy ditched us for peaches last time. Which was worthy of being headbutted, honestly. Thanks, we are here and give thanks to Zero. Damn right you do. Without flowers, there wouldn't be fruit. Without fruit, there'd be very little food. <laughs> so Zero deserves the credit because she turns into a giant flower. <laughs> That's how we wrote this logic around, damn it. Imagine the fruit from that flower, though. Sorry. I'm kind of surprised none of these kids have mutilated this boy yet. Especially Anarchy. You should definitely mutilate him if he got you sidetracked the entire way to this point. Damn. You don't have to apologize, Mochan. Yes, you do. And you're the slowest walker ever. <laughs> yeah, that's not a shock. No offense. One, he seems more out of shape than the others. I'm not I'm not trying to be awful. Just let's be real. They're all children anyway. They'd have limited energy to spare when it comes to this sort of hiking. Two, but like obviously being out of shape too, you're just not going to be able to go as far as the others. Meaning they'd have to slow their pace for you. And then two, he's got the massive rucksack that's full of whatever the hell it's full of. What have you got in your backpack anyway? Oh, they mentioned the backpack, okay. Um, not much. Scones, Don Tacos, Purinky, then some Karamucho and Supermucho. This guy. This guy. Wow. Alright. At least he's prepared for the apocalypse. <laughs> with That's perishable food. food. Yeah, with perishable food, meaning it'll go off if it's kept there for too long. If it hasn't already, considering it's in a backpack that's being constantly carried, meaning it's in warm temperature, which would just make it perish faster. 
cold food, well, cold temperatures still the growth of bacteria. Warmer temperatures, n normally the one for body temperature because bacteria produces at the same temperature as human cells. So obviously any environment that we develop for ourselves, for our own cells to flourish in, bacteria will also flourish in. Any temperature like that will fester on food, obviously, bacteria. Meanwhile, he's obviously not keeping the bag hotter than that, which would kill the bacteria, but it'd also destroy the food. So, this guy's an idiot. Not all of it! I've got some peaches I found in Kagoshima! I'm waiting for him to open that bag and it's just full of mush and stinks. If he's been hiking and getting like overheated during this, like it'd be getting the heat from his back, it'd be getting the heat from being in that bag, it'd be getting the heat potentially from the sun being over it the entire time. That just sounds foul. <laughs> that sounds like a no from me, mate. God no. Does he have canned food? If it's canned actually, yeah, you make a good point. If it's canned it'd be fine. They've gotta be rotten by now. Throw them away! Thank you. I love that the point's being made. Oh come on! If you wanna get sick and die, then yeah, you do you, mate. It's like are you bloody sure? I love the fact that Anarchy's being the responsible one, like, oh yeah, they're gonna be off. He's just like, I wanna keep them anyway. If he gets sick, leave him for the monsters, at least then you'll buy yourselves time to run. <laughs> that face again. <laughs> and here we have found a wild ditto. I'm really sorry, everyone. No, you're not. Otherwise, you'd stop the stupid behaviour. You almost got people killed over peaches. I know I'm always bragging you down. Bragging. Bragging. Dragging you, stupid. Mm. You mean dragging you down, idiot? That Anarchy, you're a mood, and I rate it. Thank you. Stewed mutton with thick broth. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're a serious pain in our butt. Thank you. You are not a pain in our butt, Mochan. Yes, he is. Shut up. You're a filthy liar. And you tried to deceive everyone before. Shut up. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Y'all being too nice, Jenu. You at least seem to have a good head on your shoulders, unlike Pi. Totally. Vanilla, you're just really nice for some reason. <laughs> no, protagonist character, don't. Thanks, everyone. I'm all with Anarchy. Fucking damn it, why are you all helping him? He doesn't deserve it. He's slowing everyone down, carrying potentially rotten food, and is a pain in the ass. Who almost got people killed last time. <sighs> Good thing we don't have the Fukuoka group here. Why? I'm kind of curious now. To be fair, there was someone who drove Pochi, the one boy we truly believed in, into being a simp. So yeah, actually, good point. Fair. Fair enough. Hansai, Chuko, Nyoro, Tatsun, and Pochi, huh? Why couldn't Pochi come with us? <laughs> Screw you, Nyoro, you took the one of a good person and dragged him over to your side with simp behaviour. Damn it. I hate it. But there's nothing we can do. I wonder what they're up to. Uh Hopefully Nyoro's getting attacked by a monster for what she did. <laughs> it's been a while since we split up. And we still haven't heard from them. How far is the range of those walkie-talkies? These walkie-talkies only have a range of a few kilometers at most. Okay, so they have no chance of communicating. Fair enough. If they keep heading towards Fukuoka, there's no chance we'll be able to talk to them. I couldn't give a crap about them anyway. 
Good boy. They can all go get lost in the woods for all I care. Bit harsh, but also very true. Thank you. <laughs> Aniki. Why are you so nasty? He's being honest. They ditched. Screw them. Even if you are tired, don't take it out on others. Nah. <laughs> no one's doing that. They're just bastards who... It's like it was the other group that wanted to split off. If anything, I'm kind of wondering who would suggest splitting off if we chose the other group. Because I'd assume they had to split anyway because we see where the route seems to split into two. And I'm assuming it's obviously based on the choice of which team we side with. In that case, though, who would have been the one who recommended the group split? <laughs> I'd assume it'd be Anarchy, because he makes the most sense. Soon all that nastiness is going to melt right out of you. Where would it go? <laughs> We're almost at the Beppu Hot Springs. Oh, okay. Game, don't follow the Japanese RPG trope. Well, yeah, the Japanese RPG trope of showing a hot spring scene, please. They're children. I don't want to know. I don't want to hear it. It'd be weird as fuck. Please don't. Please. Please don't. This city looks the same. Yeah, it does. I wonder if it's the exact same. Not a single person Actually, no. around. The furthest to the right building doesn't look the same. Maybe everyone was eaten up by those huge plants we saw in Kagoshima. Definitely would make sense. Oh. Yeah, it'd be a wuss. Could you be any more insensitive? Hey, welcome. Could you be any more insensitive? Be more insensitive just to be a twat. Go on. You know Pi was born and raised here, right? And? I'm sorry, do you want me to lie about the situation being better than it is? And to set up an unrealistic expectation so she can have some hopes to be kicked down later? Do you really want me to do that? Because I think that's harsher than the truth. And I also think that if you provide the worst case scenario, if something does turn out to be better, like for example there is a living person, then she'll be happy. It'll actually be, you know, a step up from what was expected. Meaning it's a good result, not a bad one. What? Really? Nah. <laughs> Why are you surprised at that and why do you care? I knew she was from Oita Prefecture, but I didn't know it was this city. Huh. And he cares specifically for her. What would you see in this girl? Of all the characters you could be interested in, like I'll give you a I'll give you a break. Niora's a hell no to anarchy. But this girl's also a massive hell no. She's female Hagakuri. <laughs> You'd be better off shoving your genitalia in a toaster. <laughs> It'd be more pleasurable than dealing with this woman for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's really harsh from me, but come on. <laughs> who would want to deal with someone who pretends to be happy all the time? Until you upset them over something they find personal. And then they act like a gloomy... Love from Gumball to Slight. <laughs> Getting with a toast to this guy is a coping. And... I was thinking a coping the moment I said that, but that's not the point. <laughs> are you actually going to try and cheer her up, or are you going to keep being honest? Because I honestly think it's a really bad move to set up unrealistic expectations in a bad situation. Rachel, yes, still silent. Good for you, I guess. Sorry. Okay, good. You're not trying to make it better. No, it's fine. At least you took it well, Mrs. It's definitely a big shock to see the city I was born in looking like this. Will the others probably eventually see that too? Since they're on their way to Tokyo, they're going there specifically because it's the um capital 
or are they going there because some of them lived there? It's like, that was where they were. They were in Tokyo initially, so I'd assume quite a few of them were born there. They're all gonna see their homes like this. But all my family is in Tokyo. Yeah. Oh. Really? Okay, there we go. But even Tokyo... The truth is, we don't know how things are there either. Yeah, it's very likely they're fucked. Meaning everyone's gonna be depressed because all their families are gonna probably be dead. Mm. Yep, <sighs> there's reality hitting. Anyway, let's keep looking. Forget what I said before. There might still be people around here after all. You're just being nice because it's her for some reason. I really don't see why you're interested. I really don't. But for now, you're the most real person in this group, and I approve of that. I don't approve of your romantic decisions, though, at all, if you really do have feelings for her. Yeah, that's right! Well then, let's split up into three teams, like before. Hmm. Can I pick who I'm with? Ready? Rock! Paper, scissors, shoot! Okay, no, I can't. Great. Thanks, Kim. Right. We have three teams now. Rachel and I will be in the rock uh, team. Why? Why? Kim? Why? You couldn't put me with anyone else. Jenu and I are in scissors. I'm not explaining where I'm laughing. Actually, no, I will. The two lying bastards who tried to manipulate everyone- well, tried to manipulate me in the other game were all for it and now paired together. In the team that's based after something that could be used as a murder weapon. Big row and I will be paper! I would have rather been paired with either, um, Anarchy or vanilla because both of them are more interesting than most of the other team members you could have had any objections aniki i'm still wondering why the hell vanilla is on the box art not in the slightest leave big bro to me i'll take good care of him <laughs> the facial expression This has made me think of something else entirely because it's two girls on a team. So I probably just have a date in mind. I won't lie, that also came into mind just a little bit after I meant I like thought of them being murderers together. But I also don't know how appropriate that is considering the age. And I also don't know how I feel about the fact that that thought came up for more than one person. All right, let's get moving. Use the walkie-talkies if you guys find anything. How many walkie-talkies do you do they have? Like, working tech in an area that got potentially hit by a meteor is uh, kind of convenient. Got it. I'd think that the broken um, potential mains would interfere with the signal from the walkie-talkies. Let's go, Rachel! Uh, where should we start? I don't know. <coughs> oh, great. Uh, well, was that... Pi? Yes. Let's go! Time to throw things at my enemies to kill them. By kill, stun, because it doesn't seem to kill, unfortunately. Rachel, Mochan! We've got trouble. Where's the trouble? What, what happened? Hell? Look over there. What is that giant bug? I don't like it. What the fuck? One thing. It's neat that ha the um Genu's jacket has wings on the back. That's kind of cool. Two. What the fuck is that? Is that another bug? Somebody stop it! Huh? What? What the heck is that? 
I'm gonna assume it's a giant insect considering the one on the ground in front of us like just a second ago. It's probably its mother. It's a mother. Ugh. Okay, yeah. Ew. Ew, don't touch it. it it's a... a big bug. Giant California roll. If you eat that, you're gonna be ill, man. Don't do it. Actually, maybe do it. It might be funny. It's a roly poly. No doubt about it. What? Ah. But why is it so big? I don't know. It must be like the giant plants in Kagoshima. Kill Some it. Kind of mutation. Kill it. But why did it take pie? Well, when I found it, I got super excited. Did you kill it? So I was poking it and rolling it around, and that must have made the mom mad. Oh, okay, it's alive. I think it might actually be a dad. What? Who cares? Yeah. The important thing is that Pi got caught by it. Yeah. yeah. Who would mess around with them? Who would just like decide? Oh, look at this giant bug and start picking it up. I'm so dizzy! Be glad you're not dead. What do I do? Turn into a rock. What can we do? We have to try to stop it. If the three of us work together, we can do it. I'm surprised while it's rolling, your head hasn't hit the ground at all and killed her. Since that would realistically happen, right? Or it could roll remotely near a traffic light or, you know, a street light and just kill her that way too. Like she's hanging out of a side of it. Let's go! No! Wait a second! Really? What just happened? Idiot. Mochan, you. Sorry! My legs just froze up! I can't move! Can we kill him? He's useless. Yeah, he is. A hero is someone that saves his friends, no matter how dangerous it is. Oh, I know. Maybe. <laughs> in before Anarchy comes in with the heroic save. You know what, I'd be cool with that, because it'd make more sense if he's able to benefit the situation. But this guy can turn into metal, wasn't it, when the giant dog thing bit him? Somehow. <laughs> Be useful. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it looks like stone. It's actually texturized. That's neat. <laughs> <laughs> Team Rocket's busting off again! <laughs> Just add a little twinkle effect, like they've gone into orbit. Pie. Uh, in orbit. You rammed into her so hard, she went flying. Oh no! Anyway, what happened just now? It looked like your body turned hard, like iron. <laughs> How do you explain this one? Listen, uh, Jenu, he's a growing boy, you don't want to know. <laughs> well, uh, the same kind of-
kind of thing happened in Kagoshima. Too much information. <laughs> yeah. And Rachel used some kind of strange power too. We don't need to know. <laughs> Without context, imagine how weird this game would sound to someone. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's Pi that we need to worry about right now. Yeah, she's got into orbit. Oh well. <laughs> but what if we run into more of those roly polies? We throw you at them. It'll be okay. With your powers, I think we'll be alright. So, how did they have these powers? Power. Powers? Yeah, Rachel's throwing ability and your ironclad ability. Yeah, but here's the thing being able to throw something kind of heavy while it is, you know, interesting, it doesn't count as much as, like, the helmet might have been really damn heavy, but there could be a reason for it. Turning into metal or stone? Hmm. How do you explain that one? I don't know if I can do it. Oh, shut up. Shut up, stupid boy. I know you can. There's a saying in the Hoseki Zuka troop. Oh. Where there's a will, there's a way. I don't think it's a, a saying exclusive for that troop. If anything, it's a kind of well-known saying that goes across everything. I'd like to know its origins just to see how dumb that comment is. Not terribly original. Yeah, it's not. Thank you. This is the only occasion you're actually being based. Anyways, let's get going. We've got a bug to chase. I believe Merchan's profile should have changed. Not sure though. Ah, oh, okay. Then I'll check in a sec. Whenever it lets me go. The roly poly that has Pi went rolling down that way. Got it. Let's go. Why are they calling it a roly poly? Nope. I don't think it's updated. Actually, I should probably go the other way. There's still collectible items. Oh no, I can't. Okay, never mind. So I shouldn't go the other way. Oh! Yeah. This one is different from the one that rolled away with Pi. Yeah. Giant bugs. Yeah. Rachel, leave it to me. Can we use Rachel's pitching ability on him so we can launch the statue at them and kill them? Like, screw just stunning them. Kill them. Mochan. If he gets covered in the guts of this insect, I don't bloody care. Not my problem. Let's go. I'll beat him up. All you can do is. I want it to turn hard, but that's like. Oh, it sounds so awful when it's not in the context of this game. How the hell do I fairy is this? <laughs> I feel so awkward. All you can do is turn into a statue. How are you going to fight them? Okay, Man of Steel, Iron Chef, okay. Blast through enemies and obstacles with his hard and body game! His is literally be a walking innuendo. That, that should be its name. That should definitely be its name. Fuck's sake. Why? Why would you do this? That's such a bad idea. Oh god, I have to control you? What? Nah. Oh god, I can roll into it. 
Aww. What? Oh! Yeah, it's wrong, you old shit. Die. What's the deal with this power anyway? I can't. Bug murder. And Rachel's throwing ability, too. Whatever the deal is, we need both of your powers. Yes. Rachel, pick him up and launch him at enemies. It'll kill them. <laughs> you're going to have to get us through this. Yeah, because you're useless. Got it! Leave it to me! For now, since I'd assume every character is going to have their own special ability, because why not? And don't worry if you get stuck in your iron form. I know a manager of a bowling alley. <laughs> I actually like that joke. Fair. I approve of that, Jenny. Thank you. Uh, I'd rather not imagine that. I'll do my best. I I'd like to imagine it. At least thing you'd be very, very useful towards someone. It's so weird. I have to control him. Murder. Hmm. Oh. Can I? Some of these stickers are really weird. I'm trying to hold you. short. How helpful. Wait, am I meant to roll off it? Or is it a jump? No, it's probably a roll off. Oh god. It's like the game wants me to struggle. No, I can't. Oh no, I'm set direction when I do it. No, I weigh too much. Okay, that's why. I mean, I was jumping to. No. How the. What do you want me to do, game? The roll doesn't really work. Um. I, I, I don't know what you want from me, game. to do with you though. Okay. Nah. I need to be on the actual ramp probably. do I need to be to make that jump? I'm going to have to build momentum, but how far? It's like, imagine it have to start from this point. Uh, poor timing. That was a fuck up on my part. Oops. The controls feel a bit delayed when you're in the stupid ball form. No. Momentum loss. No, tilting it up actually breaks it. Uh. Thing 
thing is, the moment I do that, I'm going to have to make the jump, though. to be there because it's too up. Don't jump on it. I'm trying to push it. It has to be here. Am I fucking this up somehow? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm I just know that it can't be further than this. It didn't really do much. Huh. His arms are too short. Can I dislodge it midair? No, I can't. So I'm stuck to commit, so I have to get over in the ball form. I don't have a choice. Uh I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't be, because there's not anything else available really here for me to use. Maybe you push them both together so you can push one up. Oh yeah, that could be it. Mm. for sorting out. Uh, let me jump up. Game, you fucking suck. Stop it. I can only successfully do what we want. Get off. These puzzles make me humbled at times, damn it. I thought it'd make me use the roller pulling mechanic to kill it. Why are you afraid of something that it's runs pie. so slow? Just let's hurry after her! Just climb up something. Piss off. What do I do? in a row oh god oh okay that happened you can actually die in this game huh Piss off. I don't trust this ramp at all. I just want them to roll into me so I can kill them. Because it's only so close I can get about them being on a flat surface. Sorry. Uh, 
get up. Die. No bugs. I don't like them. <clears throat> okay, so I've got one more. I can't feel backwards. I don't like oh. bugs. Oh. Geysers. Mm. Oh god. If I wasn't, nope. Patience is a virtue that I rarely have. Where's the other team at? Oh god. Oh, okay. The game's welcoming me. Whee! No. Okay, I unintentionally did something. What do I do? What the fuck? push something on top of where the guys is gonna be and then jump from it is the only idea I'm getting here oh oh can jump but I can't grip onto the ledge I'm gonna need the box the thing is the time limit's very tight for it and I know that that's gonna kill me oh god I should push it from the other side I'm trying to notch it with the ball boom nope. Nope. oops I love out there just watching they're like we can't do shit about this Ball. Does it not work? Oh, I have to manually do it. Fine. Push it a bit further. Oh, wrong button. Oh god. Oh god. Nope. Oops. Call timing. Oops. Piss off, game. We well, unintentionally killed a child in a geyser. Oh, don't. Oh no. Oh. Okay, it's still counting. I want the sticker back. Give it. No. What do I do? I don't trust this. Damn.
Get lost, bug. You're welcome. Mochan is the one you should be thanking. How the hell did you get up here? Well, that's the thing the game doesn't logically explain. I get why we need puzzles, but you need to make sense of how the other characters made it. Because what we just saw is a steep edge that no one could reasonably climb while there's a big bug chasing them. And it's completely vertically up as well, so you'd struggle to climb it in the first place. And then... There's also geysers that instantly kill us unless we're using a special ability that we somehow have. If we didn't have his power, we couldn't have gotten this far. Yeah, pretty much. Thank you, Mochan. Don't thank him. <laughs> and Thanks from the very top of my heart. <laughs> This isn't deep gratitude, fuck you. You know how the phrase goes is bottom of my heart to imply that it's like even in the depths of you that you feel something. And she doesn't, <laughs> she's not even like gonna try. It's like, ah, oh, only surface level gratitude, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. I wonder if that's intentional or not to imply she's being a bit of a dick about her gratitude. And it's not the top of your heart? It's the bottom. Okay, thank you. It's intentional. Oh! That reminds me! I picked this up along the way! So... Hey, is that a cell phone? I don't see how being reminded of top and bottom is what reminds you about a phone. Also, how many phones literally have phone written on them? Not the packaging, the actual phone. I've never seen one of these before. What? It's 1995, isn't it? It's 1995, and it's before I was. This game takes place before I was born. 1995, 1997. It, before 1998, that's all I know. That's the only thing. It's before 1998 and 1999, which are. Meh. Don't your parents have one? No, because phones were like something that not many people actually had. Even brick phones were really expensive at one point. No, they always say, who needs a cell phone when you can just use a pay phone? Meanwhile, in current era Britain, those are dying. Like, in the town I'm in, there isn't a single payphone. I think the only place I've seen, like, with one. Or, there's the booth, but there's no actual payphone in it. It's like, I don't think there's a single payphone in the town I live in at all. Well, town, city. Me. Still no payphones at all. I think the moment that mobile phones became so accessible they just decided, you know, no, fuck it. <laughs> we don't need those. They just cost money and people use them for pranks. How <laughs> to be fair, I wonder if it's prank calls that actually fuck those up because I remember even when I was little um, people would call the police on pay phones and then run thinking that was a clever idea. I never went along with that, I just know it happened because I remember seeing the police turn up. And it's like, oh, why Why is the service here? Oh, someone called the pay for it. It's like, oh, great, <laughs> who cares? Hmm, same here. So I've actually never used one. Oh god, the classic Nokia brick phones, I remember those. Meanwhile, <sighs> The first phone I had ever got was like even out of date by like the standards of the day that I got it. It was, it wasn't a brick. Also, collect calls from pay phones were free, so yeah, prank calls central. Well, over here, emergency numbers are just free. It's like you can call an emergency number for free, but you can't call any other number for free, so. <laughs> 
I don't remember if pay phones ever having a cost mention for emergency services. I'm pretty sure the lines were free, so kids near where I live always called them. Always. Rachel, any idea how to use this? I will say one thing, I'm glad that people do didn't seem to do that when I was a kid for the ambulance services. Because that really would be shit. Because the police is one thing. They do tend to have officers off of duty that are available to take calls. Meanwhile, emergency, like ambulance services, normally they're on call for actually people who need immediate help. And while I do think that crime, like, it depends on where you live. Where I am, it's not too bad for crime. I don't remember a whole lot of concern over the police force. Obviously, don't prank call the emergency services of any kind, but police is the least offensive. Or maybe fire services, depending on how active they are. The one thing I wouldn't want calling is an ambulance when potentially someone out there would need it. Because people's health is always in a state of potential decline. Meanwhile, crime isn't always a huge deal. Alan Pithons collect calls, aka calling someone and expecting them to pay. Well, but they charge for them both ways later. <laughs> oof. That's, uh, that's an oof. Oh, then we better not touch it too much. So I'm pretty sure the only line that doesn't cost money here is emergency services. And even then it depends on what you're calling from. It depends on your deal with your um, company too. But I'm pretty sure it's usually free. Um, my middle school had a payphone in it. I don't know if it's still there. Something weird is I'm pretty sure my university campus has one. I don't know why, because they also have obviously a call desk that in, a, in the um, entrance centre and like you'd be able to use their phone if you really needed it, so I just don't see the purpose of there being a pay phone on campus at all. But hey, whatever, you do you. If anything, I think there's more than one, I've just only seen one of them because I haven't- I don't walk around the entire campus, there's really no point. If we break it. We'll be right back where we started. And if it doesn't work, I have a signal, which it shouldn't. Oh, ew, no. What? It's, no e way. it's even bigger. Everybody, ew. run for it! Use the ball form to run. How am I slow? Get out of my damn way. I got that. The gist of that idea very quickly. I can't run up. It get up. Oh god. No. Can I? Oh, I know what I've got to do here. I've got to move fast enough to demolish. Uh. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> Bloody bug. I also love how the guys are in the people up here red. Far enough to trigger up. I'm pretty sure this kills still. Uh, yeah, it does. How would I be expected to dodge? Because I need to go up from a certain height to be able to even. Hmm. I'm assuming I have to just roll down very quickly and hope it goes through. So you're not. Mm. Get out of my 
wrong way. Uh, no. Game, what do you expect from me? I'm meant to reflect off onto that ledge because that's helpful and all, but mm. Because these people move in my way as soon as I get close enough. It's not... Hmm. No. Okay, this is how I do it. This is like asking for something to go wrong. Uh... <laughs> Game's just like, hey, you wanna die? <laughs> oh, I know what I've gotta do. Nope. Oh. Oop. Oh, uh, not fast enough. Oops. Blur the bug, let it destroy the barrier. And hopefully it dies on the wall. Ugh. I empathize with these kids only to the extent of dealing with a bug this big would be absolutely revolting. Ah! Oh, yes. Destroy. Oh. Now we can go forward. Good, I guess. Ah, that's lava. Hey. I don't know if the ability is gonna work on lava. Well, oh, the bug just doesn't care. Yeah, uh, maybe that was because I changed back. Okay, no, the lava doesn't affect him somehow. I want to know how the hell you manage that. The others are just like, you can reach the lava now. Kill the bug. Oh, uh, it's the moment lava took this bastard. You have to kill it before it gets more. Uh, let the lava spew over because I can't move. That was a completely safe route out, right? Thank you so much, Rachel, Genu, Mochan. So, Star, what's with your hatred of bugs? Do you ever watch Fear Factor? I'm not afraid of bugs, I just don't like them. I think they're gross. And imagining a bug that big is not pleasant. If anything, I'd say that the only ones that tend to make me genuinely uncomfortable are really, uh, Millipedes and centipedes are like really disgusting. I really don't like those. And then spiders, I've gotten better with over the years. I had full blown arachnophobia when I was younger. I'd say that I'm gradually just mellowing out from that. Let's just be real bugs aren't exactly nice. Even butterflies, it's like I don't like something small flying near me. I like millipedes. At least someone does, I suppose. I, like, have no personal qualms over what people like or don't like, unless it's something morally reprehensible. But, yeah, uh, bugs, I'm not particularly keen. I'm not scared, but I don't like them. I'll be telling this story 
to my great grandchildren. That's presuming you'll have great grandchildren. And how old are they again? Like, I wouldn't even like consider the idea of having children now when I'm older than they are at this point because technically if they were following real world standards they'd be older than me which is really weird to think you guys are always saving me it's the least i could do me and besides i'm the one that should be thankful huh me what did i do hmm. well i always cause problems but you guys showed me even I can be useful. You know, if it takes that to show you that you can have any form of use at all. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My god. It's like everyone... Normally people feel some amount of pride at being good at something. Even if it's something that's not, like, you know, really, really good. Just simple little stuff. Normally you're encouraged to feel at least a little bit proud of small things <laughs> this guy so if you're that insecure i kind of feel like you need to work on that a bit oh <laughs> you're so adorable mochan i won't describe him like that that's too much praise don't no what are you doing Uh, You're making me blush. In Japan, aren't they like a big thing on um establishing actual boundaries between people? Like even children would probably know better than to get this close unless they were raised kind of together. Like hell, you normally refer to people by their surname instead of their first name to avoid being disrespectful. I don't know if I'd imagine... Hmm. At the same time, though, obviously, I don't live there, so there's only so much I can imagine would be the case. So, obviously, my word is not verbatim, and people could easily disprove it. That's fine. Just, I don't know. I don't think I'd even, like, imagine being overly friendly, like, poking at someone even if they were close to me as a kid and that's like in the west well we don't really seem to be as concerned with social hierarchy and cues as over there they seem to be Pretty clouds, but okay. Took you long Showing enough. me clouds. These two are the only ones that didn't get caught up in bugs. Sorry. I got whisked away by a roly poly. Huh? <laughs> Reasonable reaction. First amnesia. And then hallucination. What next? Oh, Anarchy. Real. It's a long story. I don't think explaining this giant bugs is gonna help anyone. It'll we can just make... explain later. Yeah. Sure. You can explain while we're soaking in the hot spring. Um, we went near geysers and almost died. If anything, technically died a lot. <laughs> Look at this reaction. This is Beppu, right? It's famous for its hot springs. Too bad we couldn't find any people, but we did find a secret hot spring. Oh. So you guys were just chilling while we were suffering. We're going in there? Don't give me a hot spring scene of children, please don't. All of us? Together? Her reaction's appropriate. Uh... Mm. No. Don't. N no, you goofball! Not all of us together! Boys and girls will be separated, of course. Look how <laughs> look at the blush again. The last time she did that, she made the assumption that um Pochi was playing a perverted game. Oof. Well, 
If that's the case... Yay! I'm all for it! Since we're here, I want everyone to at least try my hometown's hot springs! Well, we're all worn out from walking. Yeah, a good soak should help our sore muscles. Aki grabs a sledgehammer and prepares to do what is ne what's needed. Damn right. Aki, so you have chosen death. Okay then, what are we waiting for? Mellow out, you say. I seem to remember a certain heart attack moment during Neo Twilight. Yeah, but that's because a spider came down right in front of my face. Like, right in front of my eyes. Really close to my face. If anything goes right in front of my face, I'm not going to be happy enough. <laughs> that's not me being terrified specifically of what it is. That's it being right in front of me and scaring the shit out of me because it came down from the ceiling right in front of me. I don't think that's <laughs> an overreaction. That's being scared the shit out of because it was sudden. So it jump scared me. Same goes for when one was right on my bedside, like right next to me. Um, when I was sat on my bed while I was streaming. That scared me as well. The spiders in my country are really small. Spiders here vary in size quite a lot. They get bigger during summer, like quite a significant chunk bigger, but they're nothing. The nothing I think anyone would consider major, the biggest I think I've seen is like, how would I describe the size? Uh, legs. So I assume your spiders are big. Uh, it really varies. I'd say the biggest ones, like the bodies don't get too big, but the leg spans can get pretty damn big. I'd say body span maybe like of a five pence coin and like leg span going beyond a 50 pence coin is the biggest we seem to get so they're not very big big ireland and england get a, do get a lot of daddy long legs though we get daddy long legs but i don't see a whole lot of them but i have seen spiders the same size as daddy long legs over here and i don't like them <laughs> The bigger they are, the more uncomfortable I feel. Hi. I'll scrub your back. No, how nice. The thing is, you can do that yourself. <laughs> oh, um, okay. No, he just appeared. Okay. Hey, Rachel. You were just thinking about us in the hot spring, weren't you? <laughs> what the hell was that noise? The sound like a tin being opened. Or the sound of the tin opener being twisted. It was really weird and metallic. Jeez, Rachel, don't be so crude. Well, anyway, let's go! It was it wasn't just me who heard that, right? That was the actual sound in the game. I just wanna check. Cause that was really weird. Now show us that secret hot spring. Yeah! Hot springs! Hot springs! Hot springs! Hot springs! Hot springs! Oh, yeah! Okay, the rest of you heard it too. Okay, good. Why the hell did he sound like that? Huh. Bizarre. I may as well do the um, camp before I finish off. Oh, talkative. Hey, I got a simple question. Go on. This is a hot spring town, and there's plenty of places to stay. Mm -hmm. So why the hell are we camping outside? That's a very valid point. I didn't even think of that. I thought it was like maybe just to think off it the top of my head. Either they're doing it for the sake of experiencing camping outside, which is stupid, or they're doing it for an easy access to run away, which would be logical, but I don't know if they're smart enough for that logic. Well, after we went in the hot 
spring, we checked out the inn. But it was all dusty and moldy, like it hadn't been cleaned in a long time. Ugh, okay. So, we figured sleeping outside would actually be better. To be fair, being exposed to mold is not a good environment. It's, it's unhygienic, so... So is sleeping outside, but at least you're not near the mold. And besides, instead of splitting up into separate rooms, isn't it more fun to have everybody together? Eh, I don't know about that. Mm? <sighs> Honestly, I'd rather be left the fuck alone when I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, I think you're right. Aw, you getting soft on us. As for me, I don't like dust either. Okay, fair. I'd rather sleep somewhere dusty than deal with people when I'm trying to sleep. I take it you've never camped out then, Star. Uh, I have once. I can't say I enjoyed it. <laughs> Thus, it's never happened again. <laughs> it's too quiet. It is too quiet. I don't trust these situations because realistically, we know there's weird monsters, like flowers and dogs, kind of. Hey, Rachel. Have you ever been to Osaka? Mm. Nope. Me neither. And what? Why well, ask? I know that you wanted to go there, but what did you want? I think I went camping once, but I don't remember too much of it. It must have been a while ago, or you just didn't find any significance in it. Like, I just remember being really uncomfortable. I remember not sleeping well. I remember feeling cold, which is like the worst thing for me. I'm very iffy on temperature. If it's too warm, I can't deal. If it's too cold, I can kind of deal, but I'm very unhappy. <laughs> I heard it's like a foreign country and they can't even understand people from Tokyo. <laughs> Internal racism in Japan, it seems, alright? The people from Osaka are like aliens. Oof. And everyone there sounds like they're doing stand-up comedy. Wah. And there's a law that if you double dip in the kushikatsu sauce, they'll execute you. That's just stupid. you before I want to go to Osaka, right? There's someone there I just gotta see. Huh, okay. <laughs> that face where it's just, just like, no. Hmm? What's that face supposed to mean? Is he jealous? Okay, protagonist likes a movie, that's why she's on the box. You're out. jealous? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like that. How funny. Okay. I wonder how the Fukuoka team is doing. I don't. Well, actually no, Pochi I care about. I'm I'm worried he's becoming more of a simp each hour we're away from him. It's been so long since I came here. So many memories. I'm actually wondering who from the other group would even cook. Cause... Her child at least seems to know how to. <sighs> God, sorry about that. Ray chat. Should no, don't give in to this path of the simp. He's not a simp though if he's still able to think. He's just jealous, which... Fine, whatever. The next time we see Perchy, he'll start shouting galaxy- Oh, no, 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 not even. All those soaking in the hot springs. You say all those times. Or hitting up my favorite fried chicken places. Your diet is really bad if that's, like, the main food you default to. Oh, and Oita schools have tons of field trips.
trips too. I don't think it matters specifically where you're from and how many school trips there are. There's the spring welcome field trip, the fall work hard field trip, and the end of the year farewell field trip. That's only free. I'm trying to think how many um, school trips there were when I attended primary school. Because secondary school there wasn't really. There was only one in secondary school. I think there were two or three in primary. In no, actually there were two trip, in secondary. One I didn't go to. Because I didn't want to go abroad. And I oof. moved to Tokyo after that? So that's the longest I ever walked. And now you've got to walk to Tokyo from this place. But the older kids have to walk 20 kilometers in elementary school. Can you believe it? Kids in Oita have strong legs and are famous for being good at walking long distance. You know that's not decided on where you're from, right? That's decided by your work environment and living conditions. And your diet, I suppose. And making kids walk that far so they're used to it is a bit... Mm. I walked a lot today. But I used to walk a lot back then, too. I wanted to, like, jokingly say they being made to be slaves for this, then. Let's make the kids do manual labor. My family in Oita belongs to an ancient line of Shinto priests. I don't know if I buy that from you. I don't know much, but I guess their shrine is really, really ancient. My dad is the second son, so his older brother took the role as head priest. Dad didn't have much to do with the shrine. So we moved to Tokyo when I was young. Why are eyes like that? Maybe it's because of my DNA? But I've got a kind of sixth oh, sense. Oh, shut the fuck up. I can see things normal people can't. No, you're just on fucking acid. Or lying. One of the two. I have always shut up. I can see ghosts. And people's auras, too. Can you now? I wouldn't. Lying bitch. And the thing is, I haven't spotted any ghosts in town here. So maybe that means everyone's safe. Or maybe it means you're full of shit. Hey, Kyoko had a sixth sense. T lol. Yeah, but here's the thing she bloody proved it. <laughs> Meanwhile, this bitch hasn't. <laughs> Unless you prove it, I don't want to hear it. It's been a while since I've been to the hot spring, but... First, a monster plant, and then a monster roly-poly? You're missing the monster dog, too. And you said you were attacked by a giant monster in Kagoshima, right? Okay, fair enough. They're not missing that out. Have monsters taken over the world? Do you think humans are... No. We can't give up hope. I thought that was Sayaka. Sayaka claimed to be psychic, but um, Kyoko also mentioned she had the ability to um, sense where death walked. And she proved it. She had a legitimate sixth sense. Meanwhile, Sayaka's wasn't proven to be correct. Anyway, let's head home. First things first. I just want all the dialogue. Don't you feel like something's missing? She's probably feeling that way because the rest of the group isn't here. Meanwhile, I don't give a shit, so no. Uh, I wonder how Nyoro's doing. Why specifically her? Oh god, is she the group hall? Uh, 
Ocho! I didn't notice you! Really? They're going that angle that all the boys like her? She's a bitch! And she uses it to her advantage as well. Well, I kinda miss the Fukuoka group. You mentioned specifically Nyoro, don't bullshit me. Not just Nyoro, but Kansai and Chuko too! Yeah, you mentioned Nyoro, shut up. You liar. <sighs> I really stuffed myself today too. Good for you. There's no one to talk to. There's nothing to do but eat. There's other people here. What are you talking about? I haven't skipped any dialogue. Why the long face, Jenu? Well, hmm. um... She misses everyone. Aniki, did you enjoy the hot springs? Oh. No answer means you must be feeling the same way. Like something is missing, right? <sighs> oh, the group isn't gathered. Oh, boo hoo. <laughs> Kansai, Chuko, Nyoro, Tatsun, and Pochi. Together, we're the Go Getters Club. But she's the only one out of those I miss. And I'd happily swap him for someone here. But if just one of us is missing, we're not the Go-Getters Club anymore. And who cares? I don't give a shit. Yeah, I agree. Oh, friendship is magic. Mojan. Even though I'm always getting teased by everyone. I wonder why, considering, you know, the amount of abuse you had earlier before being able to turn into a statue. Without that teasing, I feel somehow lonely. So you're a masochist. Okay. It's kind of like spicy caramuchu chips without the spice. If you have to turn everything to be about food, then we have nothing to talk about. Yeah, I totally get what you mean. <sighs> the one I'm surprised on missing people is Anarchy. <laughs> you wanna go to Fukuoka? No. No. Knowing how fast they walk, they'd be way past Fukuoka by now. What? What? But that's if there isn't anybody in Fukuoka, right? You're on bloody acid. Yeah. Yo, Kansai, Chuko, Nyoro, Tatsu, Pochi. Can you hear me? We're crossing over to Shikoku. We'll be arriving in Ehime first. So, if you guys can hear this, then you guys should also. Pig bro. Those walkie-talkies only have a range of a few kilometers at most. Oh, I get it. Huh? Tatsun mentioned it. Our walkie-talkies also work on a shortwave band. So what? Shortwave EM waves can reflect off the Earth's ionosphere and travel over a long distance. So that means... The Fukuoka group might have heard what Aniki said. Well, if we're lucky, yeah. That means there's a chance that we'll see the others again! Hey, fair if we were each aiming for Tokyo unless people died. I said, it depends on how lucky we are. Walkie-talkies aren't cell phones. Yeah. Uh, but knowing the game, considering it's a video game, we're gonna be that lucky. <laughs> cell? Phone? Oh, I 
totally forgot something really important. Pi found this. Wow! A real cell phone! Do you know how to use it, Aniki? Yeah. Let me see. It wouldn't have a reception though. But the battery's almost dead. And it wouldn't have a reception too. Well then. Uh, um, call the police! Dial 110! Nah. No. Wait. What the? Huh? Let hmm. me just check something. What year is it? Why are you asking that? Just tell me. It should be 1995, right? Right. But why does it show? What? What year is it set? No way! You know the technology... It wouldn't skip years ahead, so that would mean that the date time is further ahead and they've been somehow preserved. If it's further ahead, if it's not, then technology, when it um, runs out of battery and stuff, it can either factory reset to an earlier date, or it can just get stuck at the date that it ran out of power. 1996? Oh, it's been a year. Okay. Okay, need. One star, okay. Let's just have a quick look. This thing has pants on its head. Nah. Let's see how our toothbrush is worrying. Phone booth. Cell phone. Maybe for the noises? I save. It's probably all my save, so I'm gonna call it if that's fine. I'm a bit tired and it's... 12 minutes past 10, it's not too late, but I just, well, it's almost 12 past, so yeah. It's getting later, so I'm saying now is a good point. Yeah, I saw the auto server. Yeah. So, thank you all for tuning in as always. It's been fun, and hopefully you guys have fun too. Have a good night, morning, day, whatever time it is, wherever you guys are in the world, and take care of yourselves. See you, oh, awesome stream start, go rest. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Thank you again.